Hello. Oh, is it? Okay, I was looking at my <laughs> audio powers wrong. Like every single time, at least one thing goes wrong, huh? No <laughs> Anyways, hello anyone who may be watching now or later, be that on Twitch or YouTube. You're in here along with. Right here! And yeah, on stream people can see that my <laughs> I have to, I forgot to charge this stupid thing, so I have the uh, USB cable hanging from my neck now. Not from my headset now. And welcome to the eighth episode of Bloodstained. Bloodstained, not Bloodstained. Bloodstained, which love the night. Yeah, I'm always straining something when I'm doing this, huh? <laughs> you have a part of the rock star, to say the least. Okay, hopefully Drakir is more audible again this time because yeah, I checked the video from last time or the last <clears throat> the last uh, recording of this, and he was coming across pretty soft uh, still. Uh, so hopefully, finally, we may have been uh, fixing that a bit. I don't think I don't think that would even work at, at the very least live. No, not live. I love it. They only work on YouTube. <laughs> okay. Uh, the heck? Okay, controllers being a bit disobedient. I forgot to double save last time, but we can well fix that this time. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, please, the controller is connected. Yes, it means there's something with the controller. Now, maybe the batteries might be giving out, but I always have my spares here, so let's change them before they end up dying in the middle of a boss fight. <laughs> yeah! Or awkwardly against a trash mob. <laughs> yeah, killed by the controller. Okay, there we go. <laughs> fresh batch. No, not, not fresh, but freshly charged. Okay. Come and on. as usual, I'm prepared with a Yummy gnomes in a skull glass full of red stuff. Okay. And now it's not Let's see. Last time we figured out that um, uh, we weren't sequence breaking by getting in here through the Aqua Jet's power. And we found Alfred and kicked his owl ass. Yeah. Basically, we found out that they were indeed having a. Good choice of a progression. Yep. It does sort of fit with the old Castlevania uh, system that they... Or you had to figure things out a lot by yourself. Yeah, so, Yeah, to, mm -hmm. to hide the progression behind a power you have a 10% chance of getting your hands on. Yeah, that does sound a bit like a bad idea to me. And already we're getting our asses kicked, so let's just go back and heal the <laughs> heal up. Bots. I'm getting a bit of slowdown. What's going on here? I don't have anything else running, do I? Well, I nothing besides the programs used for this. Okay, there, there's some severe lag coming from something. Uh, let's see, control shift. Oh, the hell is taking that much? Okay, Bloodstained is the most active thing at the moment, but it's at 12% of my CPU. Which it's only using 12%. Memory is at 40%. Something hidden trying to leech off something. Oh, GPU is getting a bit high. 40%. But it should not... Not nearly enough to explain that sudden... Dr these sudden drops. 
Okay, he went from 60 FPS to 11 there, and 14. What the hell? The hell is going on? Okay, now I'm curious what the heck is going on, indeed. Hmm. Nothing. During that, nothing there maxed. Nothing went above 50 there. Again, it's slowing it. What the hell is going on that... It... Now it's just... The... My computer... Isn't making any more noise than it usually does. So the hell is going on? Perhaps we need to restart the game? It might be the that specific area or so because now things are going smoothly again. The hell? Hmm. I might have to look into that a bit, but for now it happens here. Maybe maybe it's the sand effects. Maybe that's a bit much for the game. No, it was fine last time, but we were here a lot longer yep. even. Yep. Now, I think it might be my controller or something. It, maybe, yeah. Because it was, it, it disconnect, it slowed down earlier whilst uh, the controller was disconnecting. L let's have a quick look. What is the charge on these things? Because it has an indicator at the front here. Let's see, plug you in. It could, it could of course be that uh, the batteries have been losing their charge or something. Hmm. Because that's one of the things with rechargeable batteries, I think. Oh, that just plain fell down. Uh, is that the, the more they're recharged, the less of a charge they can hold. I'm not entirely sure if that is really the case. Yeah, I think that is the case, but it usually takes a long time before they become useless. Because, yeah, here things are just going smooth as butter again. Okay, just for that, I'm adding five minutes to the stream, and I'm grabbing some fully charged batteries. So, back in a second, since you can't see me <laughs> walking off. Alright. Such an adorable, but freaky hat. Yeah, if any are watching, your people comment what you think of Miriam's look with that face and that hat combo. And I'm back. <laughs> Welcome back. Do you hear yeah. me? <laughs> yeah, uh, just a tip for anyone watching, always keep backups. Like, uh, yeah, these are from Ikea. They're not amazing, but they're functional. So, so these go out. They go join their brothers in the charger. Probably best to disconnect that before I stick them in. There. There. And let's see. Okay, it seems that off. Okay, the 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 ones that I put in had a low charge as well. But I'm pretty sure I set those things to charge. But oh well, we think uh, many a thing that uh, turns out to be untrue. So these should be fully charged. And uh, next time this happens, I'll have two pairs of fully charged batteries. Okay. That's a good idea. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where was I going? We're going. We can. We got the power to sink like a brick, so we can move around the water area freely now. But there's still a few bits here. Oh, well, a few bits here that are unexplored. So let's go s take a look at those. As, as well as apparently slam dunk a freaking ghost. <laughs> it's. I am dunk. <laughs> okay. 
I would want more that I get Slash Dunk in, in your case. Wait, Slash... Okay, Slash Dunk does sound like gr gruesome. Uh, let's see, it's been a bit since we... No, not... Uh, this one... Actually, might as well favorite this one. There we go, Reflector... Re reflector Rain. Okay. Nothing too much, but it... Oh yeah, I, for I forgot those things can switch gravity, apparently. Uh, wait, what? Mm. Uh, the red one... The red uh, bears can... S they can switch gravity, it seems. I have not noticed that. And then again, I was just cleaning my glasses. Uh, it's... it's... Yeah, the, these buggers have been clinging to the ceiling at times. I don't think I, I really paid attention when they did that. Well, we probably won't be seeing them again for quite a while. Since it does seem like we've gotten pretty much all... Actually, there's more over here. Mm. Yep. Ah, I... I thought I saw something behind the sand. Uh, okay, is this just going to be a dead end? And okay, I had the feeling that I could break. Was probably could. I probably could have broken that wall because of the sand. But no. Um, let's continue a bit further. Uh, Five hundred gold. Oh. Uh, yeah, we, sh we should have dealt with that uh, poison. Um, okay. Yeah, I, I'm somewhat doubtful. Okay, that okay, one's in the no. ceiling now. <laughs> the knight dealt with it. I'm a bit doubtful that there will be a... <clears throat> that there will be... A new save point nearby, since there already is one near. So let's be a bit careful. <laughs> Actually, we can heal. To yeah, and don't forget, you can use the uh, block to stay stable. Yeah. yeah. So I suspect that's going to look better for boss fights, for, well, more blood spl splatter. Yep. And oop. And, well, that didn't leave any blood spatter, so we, we wouldn't have been able to heal off of that anyways. Yeah. yeah I, I, I suspect that blood spatter is more for bosses. Since you will need to unload a crush mob to get enough blood to heal your yeah. Okay, those... The thing is, can drop a la cast as well. And yes, and also, not all the mobs even drop blood. Yeah, uh, we've Wait. seen it before with some enemies, I think. It's yeah, and then, oh my god, you're skilled with no blood. Yeah, because it's well haunted armor. Increases What's experience that? intake. But I get the feeling this is going to slow us down then. Or maybe not. Hmm. Maybe cancel it out for on your uh, speed belt. Could be, yeah. For now, though, let's stick with the traversal belt, or the map ring, the traverser's ring. It was called it. No, oh, I thought that <laughs> I thought it was a killing blow. I think we might be far enough away to find another safe room. <laughs> Come on. Oh, there's an entrance in the sand there. Yeah. But we... Yeah, never mind. Okay, these things are far... Are not, aren't half as dangerous as they appear to be. And we do need to kill another one of those. Yeah, I'm being really... 
I'm being being really risky with this. But if I end up yeah, if I end up too hurt, I can always just waystone out. Or I can find a door to a different region. <laughs> Okay, back into the sunken area. And this is... Okay, I, I was half hoping that was a safe room. Okay. Let's see. Nothing there. We don't have any... Oh! <laughs> this works as well. There we go. Okay. Uh, something I had been trying to bring up every now and then, but kept forgetting. And well, since oh. the game was being a bit stuttery back there, not for the reason why I'm bringing this up now, but the graphics of this game, apparently they used to be a lot worse than this. And well, they put, they upgraded them big time and uh, because uh, yeah, because the <clears throat> because the fans were complaining about it. And why is All it right. lagging now? What are we transmuting this time? Okay, if it's not the batteries, then what the hell is it ca causing that? Hmm. Steam is not updating our game or something. Or wait, if you're playing on this own Steam, then it should not be updating our game. Yeah. It it shouldn't upgrade. It shouldn't update or patch anything unless I specifically allow it. Yeah. Uh, whilst I'm playing a game. Let's see. Precious sword by, used by legendary defender and champion. Loot gang. Wait, is that German or? Uh, where are loot? It sounds German. Uh, yeah. Blood, blood's been taken. Uh, pretty much means blood. And hmm. is my controller failing or something? Is it? It wasn't responding there for a bit, and I, I'm getting a bit nervous now. Understandable. Yeah. Like it, ha it hasn't been like I've been throwing this thing or anything. I, I don't even think I've even dropped it to the freaking floor. Yeah, you, you don't strike me really as a rage gamer. No, I can get plenty pissed off, but I do. I specifically try to avoid damaging my own stuff. Yeah, same. If I get very angry to hit something, I just slap my own knee or something, or punch a pillow. But. That's extremely rare. I have dropped my controllers a few times, usually by accident. Okay. Like if I try to pull it up to my bed and it gets caught on my like they have somehow got the under the stairs leg and I have dropped it by accident, but yeah, I've to drop drop them. Uh let's see. I'll go with this. Um, yeah, there's a bit of a specific reason why I'm careful with my stuff, which is basically because uh, yeah, at a reasonably young age I had things stolen from me twice, or maybe three times. Oh. Just, uh, one time during a... Uh, yeah, that's also going, of course going to... Having said that, that's going to, of course, pre-load the next statement a lot, but... Uh, for one birthday I'd been given uh, a new bike, and... Yeah, we had it chained up to the stairwell of the place we were living, and yeah, next day already fucking gone. I'll go with this. Uh, another time that something uh, valuable to me was stolen, not just valuable in monetary, but also, and not perhaps a bit emotional, but more like having put in like a f real lot of time into it. Uh, was when my Nintendo DS was stolen, along with two of my favorite games in it, and which was basically stolen during a gym work, a gym class. 
Like some fucker just snuck into the, uh, into the changing room and went through everything and stole that thing from me. And yeah, you, I had easily uh, multiple hundreds of hours on those games. And yes, they were Pokemon. Uh, and I had something valuable that was my own stolen. However, one time in dorm school, a few years ago, before I fully moved into the city here, I had a school laptop. It was the schools. So I left it in my own personal study room. I, they allowed me to have one. And what I saw with our feet. So when I go back, someone else stole the laptop. <sighs> and I, yeah, I was not. The result is with me were to I had to basically. But I had no important work on it. I only used the laptop for music. Since I was uh, basically drawing, but still. Yeah. I ended up uh, going to my room, and there's a metal bridge between the school and to the dorm house yeah. I am, for it's quite a, a build on a hill, very massive hillside. So when I go and exit the door, take a step on the metal uh, bridge, and I just. Yeah, I just shouted! Okay. I scared a smoker half to death. <laughs> start to go awry. Yeah, it's always just plain shit when something valuable, be it uh, time in valuable in monetary value or just invest in time investment, or even worse, emotional value is stolen. Yeah. Even yeah. though I'd learned to jump in midair, there are still places in the castle I can't reach. Even Zangetsu must be scratching his head. What? But I heard Zangetsu had developed the ability to fly. <laughs> okay, Miriam is going to call bullshit in three, two... Uh, what? <laughs> Here, he sent a message, Aro. In the searing hot caves, seek the strange demon. Strange demon? That's it? He says... He saw the demon falling up. I think we know pretty much which one that is, because we were specifically talking about it earlier. I'm not sure I understand, but it sounds like finding that demon is my best lead. I agree. Now, is there anything else you need? Okay. What are you looking to buy? Oh uh, yeah, as I said, I have not had any of my own valuable things stolen. However, I've always been fearing about it happen, so... Yeah. I've always been extra careful. Uh, yeah, I, be, and partially because of that, I'd say that I am... Well, for one, I'm extremely frugal with things. Well, maybe not extremely, but very frugal with things, and when I do own something... It's not like I laminated or something, but I am extremely hesitant to part with it. Not in a oh, hoarder's yeah. way, but more in a... If I give this to something else, you know, or someone else, they're likely to break it. Yeah, here's the thing. Another thing, actually, that did happen to me. A little bit of they saw my drawings to my twin's ex, one of his exes. And I, I have them back now, luckily enough. However... A few months after I got them back, they were, yeah, they broke up, and of all my twins excess, she's the only one that was something mentally wrong with. Okay. Uh, I'll not dig in, I'll not dig in any yes, deeper than that. Yeah, you're saying, she was just one of those that tried to lie to people about things. So I was glad at least it did not have my drawings. Simple to say that. But I still, after that, sometimes at night, wake up just to double check how I have all my drawings. Help. Oh, yeah. Got any targets for me? Here's what I've turned. Help. Yeah, I, I can't say that I am much of a drawer myself at all. <laughs> like, I could probably. The best I could uh, make would probably be stick figures, but uh, people who have put in a lot of time into drawing, 
we're well, learning how to draw and from there into the drawings themselves. I can see why uh, <laughs> you'd be very careful of them or with them. Yeah. And I can tell people I'm not that uh, me doing commissions might be near impossible. Because you're he you're be you'd be hesitant to part with them. Yeah. Like if it was a, just a light drawing, I could part with it. I have done it before. But if they want me to really make it good, the hard it gets to to the part with it. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I of course know nothing about how with things with commissioning and stuff works, but um. Yeah, perhaps you could. Make a uh, copy. Yeah, probably that's probably that's probably going to sound like a big ass insult. Uh, but yeah, maybe some way to make a copy, not just a completely drawn copy, but. Um, I, I did it once for one drawing so far, but I, I only made. The, the, but he didn't want the, the copy. He wanted the original. Yeah, that, that does make sense because well, <laughs> the. They want, they commission you to make the original, but maybe I personally I'd say to uh, keep the copy to see if that makes it a bit better. Yeah, as it is, I made an improved copy to keep. But yeah, the only reason he gave me was because he kept nagging and nagging and nagging. And this was an old man that was the grandfather of my. Older half brother. Uh, yeah. <laughs> On the one hand, you, as a commissioner, you have paid someone most likely to work on something. But on the other, if you're just going to annoy the artist, uh, yeah. Ba basically, I'll draw a bit of a comparison myself. The more someone annoys me to uh, go do something, the less likely I am to actually go <laughs> fucking do it. Yeah, same here. It made me feel more of my... That part of me became even stronger after that. And here's the thing. He didn't... That, this original, I already had for years. So he wanted a already finished awkward and uh, finished years ago. They didn't ask me to make a new one. They also me for one of my old ones. Hmm. Okay, this is a and bit odd that it has this steel lightning we just found is late. Is it seems to be that the lower sword is or wait, is it is the great? Yes, it is a great sword, but it has less damage than the one before it. Does this thing have a, some sort of special effect? You just need something there. Uh, it, oh, it, it's faster. Yeah, it seems faster. More. It has condition effect. Like, uh, you if they took extra damage. In a few seconds. Okay. Uh, my. Oh. Uh, this is... Yeah. Do you see the success? Yeah. It d it deals a uh, a damage over time. That explains why it it, it it is instead of uh, deals more damage in that way. Yeah. And that was a recipe for ultimate dish. Another ultimate dish. Okay. And oh, now just remember, there is one thing I lost once on a bus, and was my great grandfather's umbrella. Ah, yeah. I'm still angry, and there was a special one. It's one of those that have a special handle up the uh, higher up that the. Uh, you just twist, and it turns in, and then it falls out. You always have your hand guarded, no matter what. Okay, yeah, that that would be akin to a fairly family heirloom. 
Yeah, Mom just said that he has an umbrella. But still. It was a nice umbrella, it was nice, very strong. And he actually died of. Like only a few weeks after I was born. Yeah, so not only just really a, an heirloom, but uh, like. Um, every, yeah, a remembrance. Being, I personally never knew either of, of my grandfathers. Uh, hello there. I didn't know my great grandfather at all. I know my grandfather, but not my great grandfather. Again, uh, I want a baby then. Uh, out. Uh, I got yeah. stuck in the dog there. It ain't you? No, uh, I couldn't escape from the model I'm being on top of me. <laughs> so, yeah, that kept dealing contact damage. Uh, yeah, I, I've never known my grandfathers or any great uh, grandparents. I met my great grandmother. Is, I think she's dead now. But that was long ago. I met my grandfather on my father's side. Who, even as a kid, I was nervous of. But he was adopted in the family. But the reason I was freaked out was in, by him was he smoked way too much. It was like his voice. So yeah, if you have heard him, you probably would also be picked up by him as a kid. He sounded so... <laughs> something like that. Uh, no, like his sorry. lungs were part of a coal mine or something? His lungs and throat. <laughs> okay, just to be safe. And the tobacco really made him smell... Uh, yeah. It, I wish I had a better memory of him, but... Yeah, mostly we met him as a kid, and uh, yeah, uh, you know how uh, people can be as a kid. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I met most of my family, except my distant relatives. Like, uh, I met my own cousins, I met very few of my second cousins and third cousins. Uh... Yes, it is a third cousin, folks. Let's see, I don't know how much, how big of a percentage I know of the family tree. I know we have a decently big family. Um, but I also have family in Canada who, actually, I think they've come over once or twice. Oh dear. Um, uh, yeah, they, they are from the Netherlands as well, but yeah, they, <laughs> they don't speak a word of it anymore. Anymore? Yeah, they, they, uh, basically, um, I don't know the specifics, but they've probably been in there for a generation or two. All right, in that way. So yeah, the the, the kids have not been taught taught it, taught it. Oh, oh. No, we are not sure. Uh, let's uh. see. Apparently we have a lost family, but apparently I maybe only met like uh, 10 percent of my family line. <laughs> and apparently we had some very decent relation in America that actually visited us once. Uh, I did not meet them. My mother did, and it was ra some rather recent years, and she does not want to meet them again. Okay. They were, so to say, the folk. They were them. Very stereotypical American. Like, oh, we don't do this in the USA. Oh, we don't do this in America. How odd. You are so odd. They, yeah, they, and as well, other things that made them very. America is supreme uh, and everyone else is weird thing going on. That made my mother very uncomfortable and very annoyed. Yeah, I can see why we. Like, I know that is a generally considered a stereotype, like uh, the obnoxious American, but yeah, as much as 
stereotypes typically don't apply. Also, I'm hearing myself on your end. Uh, there are there are often at least some people who do fit, if not the entirety, part of stereotypes. Yeah, and apparently these ones fit it a bit too much in a very annoying manner. Sure, I may find some kind of, some traditions by some culture it's strange, but I will not go all, all out to insult them about it. Yeah. Generally, technically everyone is strange to someone, or to some degrees, but yeah, you don't have to be an asshole about it. Yeah. I did not think I'd actually dodge that attack. Oh dear. No shortcut. And I think about it, I have met many Americans. However, uh, this is from my own experience. Also. Don't, don't, this is not me. I'm not going to generalize you staying here at all. This is just my own experience and the truth I have met. Me, I think like, uh, uh, let's see here. I'm not sure how many I met there, but I feel like about 80 or 75 percent of the Americans I have met have been very Obnoxious. What? Uh, I was guessing obnoxious, but <laughs> it was wrong then. Some have been. Some of them did become obnoxious because of them being. They, they seem nice at first, but then later they become very, oh, extremely oversensitive to obnoxiousness and all that. Or just unreasonable. Like. That one that was leading a guild, but then he was created to BC, so and uh, and something grumpy that we uh, did not have uh, enough time, but we were looking forward to what this even now. But instead of uh, yeah, he was to quit the game, but instead of handing over the guild, he outright refused. To hand over the guild to someone that I want to continue his line. <sighs> well, we wanted to stay and be able to have fun, but he wanted to quit, but he didn't want to hand over the guild. He wanted to keep it for himself, even when he was about to qu he was quitting the game. Yeah, yeah. You hear yourself there. Yeah. Since we're both possessive, it is a bit understandable, but still, uh, a guild needs a leader or an active leader to actually keep yeah. existing. Yeah, yeah. I but he went in a very yeah. You heard, you, you heard yourself. that in a point where you wanted you wondered, do you really need to? Insult and shout for someone only offering to take over, but it was all that happened. A person offered that uh, you want uh, one of us to maybe to take care of you again instead. That's me. Also, did one role play, and yeah, just because of a simple question, he went ballistic. This ended up everyone leaving the guild instead. Yeah. Uh, I've been, I uh, haven't been part of too many. Uh, this is a new one. I bet I did not. Uh, I haven't been in too many role-playing groups, but I have had the occasion of an unstable leader. Yeah, that I haven't met several. But I'm not gonna talk about all of them. Yeah, many of them were actually quite nice. Until they've been a little bit long, apparently, uh, you know, power corrupt. Uh, yeah, sometimes some people aren't too... Uh, aren't too well uh, tempered for leadership. Or yeah. are not under pressure. I, I forgot how much those things hurt. Yeah, 
I think most of the ones that did were really bad were usually people that became a bit too power hungry from it instead. And not many that the uh, the dudes that it gave up too to much pressure were usually not so dramatic. They just said, uh, I can't handle it really anymore, it's too much work. People gave up and all that. But when they, they become too power hungry and you know all our power again from it. That's another problem. Yeah. Pride comets for the fall. Yeah. Yeah. Actually I I just today or just earlier today saw a video on that. Uh, a YouTuber I found recently who basically has been covering MMOs for years <laughs> and he had a vi video series called uh, the seven sins of MMO de yeah, bad MMO design or something like that and uh, yeah one of the last one he covered with that was of course pride it was there was no of course really there but the last one he covered was pride which is basically uh, when people start overestimating their own ability like far too much or they just stop listening to others and yeah we we both have examples there of people who well i wouldn't say that my example was really because of pride but pride is often a reason why things can fall apart yeah and i I have been given the one or twice, but only small ones, and uh, yeah, it, it only fell apart of uh, inactivity. And I, I may have not been the most active and such, and it was mostly due to other people wanting me to be a leader for some reason. Just that some how I did for World of Warcraft. But. My last time being leader of something was you, well, you know, uh, in Guild Wars as the leader of the cafe. But what one was a sub officer for was a very big guild. And then I feel like I. I was the most active to. I was online most, but yeah, I feel like uh, maybe I was too soft on all the modern members. I didn't want to be too hard either. You're not forced people to stop a cafe either. Yeah. Uh, personally, I think uh, things start to fall apart there because I was in the same group there. Is uh, that the look? Things seem to just fall apart with the location move there. Yeah, and there was other things that happened in the background, which I'm not going to talk about. Luckily enough, I was not part of that. I just, uh, yeah, I noticed that the drama were very, and location as well, were killing the mood. And, uh, and myself were just feeling like, I had my phone as an officer, I need a, I have tried it and I need a break. See, we're getting lag now, even here. Okay, some, to... something is up. Do we need to restart the game or something? Oh, I think the batteries were coming loose. Oh. Or they might have just moved because I pulled off the, the, the flap. But... Yeah, maybe that's helped things a bit. Hmm. Oh, we have 9-11 uh, health. Uh, which can be read in oh. two ways. Uh, the, as the, <laughs> I was personally thinking of the American emergency number, but there is also, of course, uh, the big 9-11. Yeah, I actually was doing that as well. I thought the first thing is not the dent emergency number. Let's just... Let's cut this short... Again, lag. What is causing that? Uh, this is just a little convenience move because otherwise we'd be moving around a lot of the dry area that we've already seen. And 
do wonder, is there pra What is actually imaged here? Is that supposed to be the Pied Piper, maybe? Uh, 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 probably that's some form of Piper. And wait, have all of them been having Pipers? Yeah, it's the same image on each one. I'm th pretty sure. Now I'm curious for... Yeah, the Piper I am not familiar with me to have it anything to do with portals. Usually with, you know, rats and kids. And decide well, a pipe. Uh, there, there is, <laughs> there is a bit of a funny thing uh, in translation that has always made the, uh, the okay new weapon there, the the title slash name of Pine Piper kind of funny for me uh, because. Uh, yeah, if you were to translate Piper uh, somewhat directly into Dutch, you'd end up with almost a <laughs> certain... Um, what would be the wording? Basically, you end up with the the, the, uh, the Dutch word for blowjob. The crude <laughs> one. <laughs> so yeah, it's the... <laughs> it's the pied blowjobber. And I think I broke him. Oh, <laughs> I guess that I choose to not drink my drink at that time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm stealing my share. They did not make it to the light of the floor this time. And. What are those? Are those little clams? Uh, they're... Well, that one is a... <laughs> that one just plain vanished. But, yeah, there's some sort of succubus uh, clams. Wait, what? Let's see, we didn't actually check out the names and respond. Let's see. <laughs> okay, for a moment I thought if those things are called Rocky, I'm going to... <laughs> uh, let's see. Macaron, Elocer, Avid, I, where are you? Celia, okay. Uh, I think. Wait, hold on. That's not Celia. Yeah, the Greek version of this, I think, is basically a gigantic, supposed to be some sort of gigantic octopus uh, uh, lady. Yeah, you, you, you remember the cross box? Yeah, that was more closer <laughs> yeah, to uh, the Skelia. Yeah, the only thing missing on that first boss was the bullpen around her emblem, around the groin. Otherwise, yeah, that, that first boss should have been Skelia. But that would have worked. Uh, yeah, I... Yeah, I know a decent amount of Greek mythology, but the first way, the first place where I actually encountered anything about her uh, was in the game Smite. Oh, I, I learned that from, oh gosh, I don't know if anyone remembers it, a uh, collection uh, page called Monsters. Okay. Yeah. Bought someone's uh, collection, which had her her mention there in, in one of those forms, but otherwise I also learned from Bipolic uh, books uh, when I was a kid. Secret Sorcery Lab. Wait, yep. what? That's Dominique. And Alfred? Wait, Response, what? Super Controller. This was your proposal, Exorcist. Explain yourself. I should have been there. But you broke your word as well when you laid that trap for me. So you have been backstabbing, or... Have you been trying to work to both sides or something? That, or Alfred is the one doing all the backstabbing. Uh, he hasn't been 
outright hostile to us, except for, well, the boss fights. Uh, he's just been after Jibo. So, I'm just taking a bit of a shot here. Maybe Dominique is basically funding both us and Alfred. And, well, she also has Zangetsu running around in this place. So, yeah, basically uh, trying to have more cards in her hands than, well, <laughs> the demons coming out of the castle. But... We'll have to see. We'll probably get something out of this. I wasn't about to allow the book to fall into your hands. Okay, where? Why is the slowdown now? <laughs> why would I want it? Revenge, perhaps, for your parents. Parents. Perhaps the victim from the disaster they mean cost us several years ago. Someone has been putting ideas in your head. Is there yet another factor in place here? That uh, the all I know about him is that he is called as the crazed alchemist, so we should be warned that he may actually be crazy. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, my suspicions on Dominique are set to high again. Miriam. Huh? No, wait! Oh. Okay, Dominique. How the fuck did you get here? Wait, she said no wait, so... She doesn't mind being in scene with him then, so... Hmm... I'm not too sure on that, but... I feel like we are maybe looking into it a bit too deeply. Maybe. I I'm just going with the multiple angles for now. You not see that. Uh, is that so mine? The trap Alfred laid was for you? Yes, and that's why I sent Zangetsu to deal with it. He has the power to stop Alfred from teleporting. <laughs> Which he is very fond of. Though, to be f to be fair, if any of us had the power to teleport out of any ba dangerous situation, we'd abuse the fuck out of that as well. <laughs> I thought he might be able to contain Alfred while we dealt with our bigger problems here. It makes sense. But what was all that about your parents? Revenge? Again, stutter. I, I not, I'm not seeing anything just spike up here. I have the task manager open on my second screen here. Like, I, I don't get what's happening. Like, I is, think it's... is this place supposed to be just? Is there something in this place that is just gl glitching the game a bit? I think the, a few times I've had a rare case of a game just being laggy. I just restart the game and it normally works. Hey, let's try that in a bit after Dominique tries to explain herself. Be yeah. I don't want you to get the wrong idea. So I suppose I had better tell you. My parents were exorcists, like me. But during the demon outpouring ten years ago, they were killed in battle. So I have my reasons for hating demons, and that accursed book. I'm so sorry. You must hate us all for it. I let go of the hatred years ago. All that matters now is that I gain control of the Liba Logayeth and prevent it from ever being used for evil again. I'm going to take a bit of a stab here. She wants the book to summon angels instead of demons. Yeah, it was meant for that uh, intentionally. Yeah. Uh, but who's to say those angels would be any better than demons? So, for now, I am going to assume that she has uh, good intentions for now. Um, that she's just playing things smart by just yeah, setting three fact three factions in motion against one bigger threat 
But I'm still going to keep uh, one eye on her. Uh, come on, game. Like, three different sets of batteries, and don't think it's my controller. It's not disconnecting or anything now. All right. I'll help you. Thank you. I'll do all I can for you in return. Hmm. Uh, what's with this trusting her for? Here's the thing, usually when they, when they are double trusting you and all that, they use me subtle hints of it. Okay. And all that, but problem is. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, uh, <laughs> almost ran into that and uh, hello stripperella La Matte yeah. Good people as far as I know should not be a Lamatu <laughs> Sit still you both sit Okay and that was a dark elemental and Yeah this place is going to be <laughs> Uh, half of torture room with everything, right? So I say that and I immediately walk in on an electric chair. Mm -hmm. Right, here's the thing. Uh, a Lamatsu is basically larger body, bearded human head, and wings. Is this thing going to shock me? Okay, I was half expecting that to... <laughs> to be a perfect clip for ghost coolies to work with. Like, <laughs> is this going to shock me? <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> like, like, they have sort of lion-like hair, but yeah, that's where about it, about where it ends. Yeah. And I like they take up some creatures already seen like the wolf leaf, but not that. But they are... Really yep. missing some up. Sit still. Yep. Oh, <laughs> it's it's yeah, it's attack got stuck in the ceiling of the platform. Uh, hey. you go in the heal and save? Yeah. Oh wait, but... hmm. it was a room, not a anyway. Yeah, but I said heal, save, and restart the game to see if that helps. Yeah, before before something really screws up. Yep. And we might as well take a look here a quick what are we transmuting this time? because we have gotten a few new. Uh, recipes. Let's see, is there anything that's stronger? No. <laughs> Instantly stronger. Oh, okay, that's just perfect, actually. Uh, we found the steel lightning, we made a Shadar, we made the fire blades, and oh. now, now we can make this thing. Read the description, lad. A champion's great sword capable of sundering all things in the universe. And Okay, I only now notice that the, <laughs> the controller is shaking a bit because of our low health. And Durandal. Why does that sound familiar? It is a very popular name popping up in uh, anime games. And many anime games like to take names from source from all over the world, from mythology and, cult and other cultures, and insert them. But they never respect for that matter. So, Blue Gang and Durandal are very common in that sense. I, I'm pretty sure that I have her Durandal somewhere. Maybe. No, I haven't. I hadn't watched that one for too long. For a moment, I thought maybe. I think that line was new. Um. No, it can't have been Xeno Xenoblade Chronicles because I only watched like a few episodes of that. Uh, when Sugar Convoy made a let's play of the first one. Um, let's see, 
it's good. What are we transmuting? Anything here? Maybe you could do it to me to investigate some of these over for the Duran Gaul or Blood Gang. I mean, used to as an example, have appeared many times in Disgaea and other games. It could be that I heard it from the, there. Um, or I, I this, think... this guy is also a series I haven't watched or seen much, if anything, of. Yeah, I can say this. I think the many of these legendaries who we have here are meant to be inspired by real mythical souls. Or... Yeah, like the Muramasa and such. Yeah, and um, Excalibur and so on. And here we can upgrade. Let's just upgrade this. I don't. I'm not seeing that monster blood being useful for anything else. Yeah, all done. Mm. Yeah, might as well upgrade it for ourselves. We probably be wanting it for boss fights. So might as well have it strong. So right. again. And restart the game just in case. Yeah. Then add, uh, we add then one extra hour as an apology. No. But Half I will add a, another five minutes to it again, so ten extra. So once this counter here hits uh, two hours and thirteen, that's about when I will be ending the stream then. And this time people can actually see the intro for once <laughs> and be blinded by the cryware and <laughs> your engine logos. There you go, and yeah, I have to play Tales of Mana, and I, I'm in stream there. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, don't forget to screen share. Uh, Wait, why is it not showing you now? Hmm? Okay, that was a bit odd. Uh, it seems the game minimized there, for some reason. And when it's minimized, I can't share it. Oh, but, okay. Yeah, you should have it now. Yep, I can see. I can hear. Okay. Smell! <laughs> uh, let's see if the equivalent of taking the cartridge out and blowing into it has fixed things. How do you know I've been watching an uh, angry video game nerd? <laughs> I actually haven't watched him like... Well, I watched one thing of him recently, but before that I hadn't seen like anything of him in years or so. Uh, here's a few, uh, several new uh, videos there. Yep. I have heard people complaining that the quality of his work dropped in recent years, uh, but I haven't watched in said recent years. I, I think the last I saw him, if him was with one of the uh, that guy with the glasses.com collaborations. Uh, I don't know if he dropped really. Maybe he reduced the. Poopy things uh, a bit, but I wouldn't say that it dropped in quality. Mm. Yeah, that that was uh, part of why I I can't recall why I stopped seeing. Maybe I okay. That that's just going to get annoying. That sound. Well, it can get a bit lo rather loud, so it is a bit of a you need to be in the right mindset to watch them. Uh, yeah, and well, he has a family now, so that's also takes away. Can I time this to not have that annoying chain sound? Thank you. Okay, 1781. That that is a big ass jump from the last one, I think. Or and weren't some of these in the 1600s? No. Then again. <laughs> Alchemists, uh, extending life is typical with that. I thought we were in the 17th century so far. Hmm. But this court stop that. Let's see. Jeebel's efforts have supplied, uh, have supplied us with a large quantity of shards. Now that the children are well trained, we have begun shard binding experiments with great success. One girl in particular, Miriam, seems to have boundless potential, both in terms of how many shards she can wield and to what magnitude. If my calculate uh, two years later, if my calculations are correct, then we have finally amassed enough crystal to perform the great demon summoning. It has been a long and arduous path, but we will soon reach the end. My old friend continues to oppose the ritual, however, to gain much, we must sacrifice much. This is the basic principle of alchemy. 
uh, sort of uh, correct. Like, it basic alchemy uh, principle would be that he's meaning is equivalent exchange. Basically, you put in uh, you put in like five grams of X, and you get five grams of Y out of it, uh, so to speak. Like, you put in something. Uh, you only get out as much uh, value as you put in. The whole uh, full metal, full alchemy, full, full metal alchemist runs big on that uh, thing, or on that Ooh, principle. Yeah. Good show, by the way. Not sure on the, not sure on full alchemist brotherhood. I have heard that it's supposed to be inferior to the first, but I've never seen it, so I can never, I can not judge. That's the first time I hear. I heard people scream in it was better than first. So you first want to see the opposite. Uh, yeah, I, I haven't seen the both of them, so I can't really judge. Um, uh, maybe we can uh, add that to our watch list, but we have un enough to go through already. <laughs> yeah, I have the DVDs of the first one, but only half, basically. Mm. Ooh. But yeah, I have seen, I think, the entirety of the original. And I looked it up recently, like at the... I believe in the very first stream of this, and that was a very lucky dodge. In the very first stream of this, I tried to remember their names, and I got one of them right. It was Alfred and Edward Ulrich, I think. I'm, I might be getting their last name wrong now. Alfred and... Oh, yeah. The only one I can remember, yeah. I have... As I say, I have this... And we think it's a part of the first season of the original uh, uh, Metal Alchemist. And I've seen some online, due to I cannot... Uh, yeah, they didn't sell the other half of the season for some reason. But I pretty much gave up due to... It sort of feel like a bit too much drama. And yeah, many videos didn't even outright work on that side, so... Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, boss door, so let's see. The, the hell? Doppelganger. Okay, for a moment I was thinking, are they going to go with the fucking clone plot? <laughs> oh, that's a big ass. <laughs> Okay, she is using powers that we can use. <laughs> that is pretty clear. Is that the Dragon Claw? That was the Dragon Claws, I think, yeah. And that seemed like the... That uh, full moon... <laughs> yeah, she's using special moves. <laughs> that... Oh. Okay, this is interesting. I Whoa! I did see oh I did see mention of, of a doppelganger in the TV tropes when I looked there. <laughs> but I did not expect to actually a human have against me. Okay, unique defeat lines as well. But <laughs> that was a uh, sudden. Yeah. And there's only one solution for this. Sandwich! Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, but... Okay, quite the opening move. Oh, missed me. I didn't miss me there. And... Uh, this would probably... Oh. Ah, this probably would have been a bit easier if we knew all of these techniques that we haven't been able to pull off. Probably time to stop learning. And I think you you have some a bit you can use to learn at all. Okay, okay, managed to dodge it that time. Let's okay, grab a sandwich and yeah. Oop. I'm not gonna say don't die, but it's a damn boss fight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, missed me. Uh, wait. 
you there and there. Missed it. Oh, oh yeah, that is a lot of blood. Uh, yeah. Okay, that one is pretty openly camp <laughs> telegraphed. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> that couldn't be any more obvious. Okay, there we go. That's even a locked transcendence. Shadow Tracer, create a Shadow Double. You defeated her? Yeah. I did not expect you to defeat her. So, yeah, she was more of a mini-boss then. <laughs> or mid-boss. Yeah, wait. Now it cannot be her that drops this... We need okay. to form the those damn wheelie boys, don't we? Uh, probably, but uh, for now we have a, an on-command stalker. Oh, I didn't see that platform. Uh, before we actually continue, though, let's go head back and save. And yeah, no stuttering so far. That was a bit of a that was a bit of a waste, but oh well. Hmm. That's, what will that shadow trace be useful for? Actually, something I just realized I, that is blocking part of the chat, and yeah, I was fearing that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> there's a message here from somewhere at like half an hour ago. So sorry for missing that. Uh, Markin 1000 Grau. I'll just call you Markin Grau then. <laughs> Sorry for the very, very late response. Uh, yeah, I had task manager <laughs> over the top of chat there, and spike the breastplate. Oh, I had completely forgotten that we'd made this. And now it's already obsolete. Though it is used to make that Imperial Armor, so it's still useful for that. And yeah, this sword is dealing a lot more damage already compared to the other ones. Thank you, back. Welcome back. Thank you. And uh, what did the chat chat say? Uh, no, there, <laughs> there was someone who said hi, basically said hi half an hour ago, and because I had task manager uh -huh. up, uh, the message got blocked out. Okay. I feel like I've paid with Lamat support. They're supposed to be, yeah, bearded lion and... Oh, I, I also see they have a lion tail. Yeah, they got some lion in team, but... They're supposed to be, yeah, lion-bodied, bearded, man-headed uh, things with wings, not that. And Still good just, design, just the name does not match. And just as I called out them having a tail, or a lion tail, uh, where is it? Yeah, <laughs> they drop one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just, just timing sometimes, huh? No. <laughs> Why did that break?
Okay, 500. Uh, uh, hello. I think we're a Wait. long way from uh, the island of Minos. Wait. Oh no, William. Yeah. Just a brass bull. Yeah. But those people don't know. That's a torture device. Oh, I, I was thinking of an, a different uh, brass bull from mythology. Uh, well. Yeah. Let's see. Um, yeah, um, the, here's the thing about the brass bull. The inventor of it gave it to Tyrant and explained how it works. And the Tyrant put him inside the inventor inside of it to try it out. Yeah, uh, <laughs> hoist by your own petard or in this case cooked by your own freaking bull. Yeah, and here's the thing. He put them inside his stomach. Put fire under its belly and cook them inside it. Yeah, and because have... the entire thing would be uh, if it, the entire thing would be absorbing the heat. Yeah, and there's more. That he had made special tubes from its belly to its nostrils and mouth. So when the, he he was screaming, it sounded like an angry bleeding bull. Okay, that was just overperforming. Yeah, he should probably thought of that uh, of who he would sell it to. I don't think he imagined that he would be thrown inside it. It seems that I've hit the amount of markers I can place. Wait, there's a limit? By the looks of it, because I'm pressing I and it's just getting the no sound. Well, I guess it makes sense for. Imagine you spam those all over the map. Yeah, but then you'd be, you'd only be reeling annoying yourself. Now where is this leading? Okay, <laughs> I should have expected that, I guess. Wait, why would there was another thing that? Why are things breaking on contacts? Oh, hold on a second, if I use this... Okay, I thought that maybe the, sh uh, the shadow would also be able to hit things. That... Okay, there was a stutter there, but not frequent stutter. Uh, Okay, I'm guessing we're heading straight into hell. <laughs> Oop, missed me. Uh, yeah, no, not touching any of that. And a volcano morte. Uh, oh, crap, crap. And... To be inside of that volcano, not hell. Yeah. Poofing right out of that before I die. <laughs> Why are things breaking on contacts? Oh! Spiked breastplates. A breastplate <laughs> lined with sharp spikes that injure whoever touches them. We are a living candle holder's nightmare. <laughs> okay game, that was a, that's a good one. Hi Miriam. So... What'll it be? Let's see, I doubt we can make anything new, but still a good idea to look through. <laughs> Promise you'll stop Jeebel no matter what. I'm guessing she's helping Dominique with the store. I have something new to offer you. 
What are you looking to buy? Let's see. What news do you have then? We could use one of those. We'll save us a bit on ingredients. Are you serious me? I've never seen any team that has one of the main villains to be the damn merchant. Can't think. I know, I can't think of anything like that. Uh, I, I know some games where you can make a merchant your enemy. Uh, like Spelunky and uh, Crypt of the Necro Dancer, uh, or basically any of those roguelite games where you can try to steal from a merchant, where they will not like that in the <laughs> even the slightest amount. Yeah, there's the game where you have a merchant that is the bad guy to defeat, but never the high tier ones, you know? They're usually more like side bosses or something like that, like mini bosses. So, how problem see Miriam to be one of those people that we fight? Yeah. Unless Thank you. The little girl takes over, which mm. would be new. Are you eating properly? So, what'll it be? Yeah, that'd be new, yeah. Yeah, and yes, Johannes, I'm eating properly. I'm eating a sandwich right now. Stop nagging about it. I'll go with this. Ooh, I like it. Okay, seeing as the fairy potion healed like 50% extra, or I think, Stop back. I presume the fairy elixir will heal of a similar larger amount. Nice. <laughs> Well, you're, you're putting in more resources. It would make no sense at all to uh, have it heal less. <clears throat> that would sound like anything to be calling a bug. Okay, it deals 10 damage. <laughs> So finally, we make contact damage on them as well. I have to say, this. L okay, we've had some stutter and on loading at times, so that makes more sense because, well, it's loading in the entire area. But I have to say, this lab was tiny compared to the other regions. Yeah, okay. Good we do. Sort of uh, explore the other zones we've been to. Um, or have been very I think we've covered. Yeah, it seems that we've covered most of the water area. There's still down here that we haven't actually been, but I'm presuming that we'll only find more fish there. Yep. Maybe a chest or two. And. I think I just realized something. I think there's some areas we need that the. Uh, Flying things on. Yeah. Especially the things that we've been stuck on for a while. There seems to be something there, yeah. That... Huh. What was there? Yeah. We, we can only get there from below. So that means. And there's a little, just a little bit over there. Uh, but I think for. Come on, move. For this, we probably need the power of that flame bower. Or perhaps Zengetsu's message was referencing to the volcano area here. Because I forget the specific wording, but it was a uh, hot area, at least. Uh, you think falling upside down? Yeah, it, it, it did say falling up, so it could be those first ones, but we'll have to see if there is a, a new variant in the volcano as well. Well, I just realized those roller things were not falling upside down. They were more of latching up to it due to you hitting them. Or oh, they ran up to a wall. And came yeah. they came upside down. Uh, at times they were just flipping gravity for themselves, it seemed. Mm. But we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah. 
falling upside down. He's being. What's this upside down with those damn things? They don't seem to really seem to be having an upside and downside, really. Well, as long as you remain indoors. Yeah, but you know me, they were. They, when they were on the roof, they still had their head in the same position as before. True. So. I think. Sure. I'm kind of now wondering is, is it them or is it something else? Yeah, we'll, we'll just have to. Again, see. Yeah, but I was wondering if that is sort of meant to be as a big as it's possible due to tricking you to think it's something else. Take this. Oh, that, oh. That, okay. I, for a moment, I thought that there was a killing blow. Forgot about you. Uh, nope, nope, out. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to be very careful in this area. Uh, hello. <laughs> Hellhound. <laughs> of course it's Hellhound, of course. It makes sense. Powder. Yeah, this, uh, it is, this is a spicy area. Yeah. Maybe learn that trick, please. I, th I think we've already gotten a, a shard from these dragons. And it was uh, attacking with its claws. And Are you the same things as before? No, th okay. these are new blood bugs. Oop, missed me. Uh, oh, <laughs> that was an accident, but yeah, that's a greater mimic, a death trap. Which is literally a trap <laughs> designed for, well, death. And this is... Ow. Red Remembrance increases your stats as your HP decreases. That's going to be useful in boss fights. Oh yeah, risky but also useful. Basically, the third mode. That was my own fault there. Okay, 250. A good amount that that heals. And I almost dodged into that. Silk. I should be extra careful about dropping down from places in here. And even more careful about not jumping into things. I think I remember, I, I think I usually dislike lava levels in games. And <laughs> this was completely accidental in discovery. <laughs> Risk rain ring. I almost said Risk of Rain there. What? It's, it's a good game, but uh, not the type of game I've really played because it well it gets too hard for me. <laughs> I need to make a second game of uh, Risk of Rain. Uh, they've made it already. I'm not sure if it's out of early access yet, but it is fully playable. What? And I wonder what that ring does. Uh, let's check once we're not in fear of dying in bloody death. Ow. You. Yep, you just glitched out into the wall, apparently. Wait, blood bug. 
Does blood body drop extra blood? I'm not seeing any blood at the moment. I'm only seeing fire. <laughs> well, it's it will probably be hard to see the blood with all the environment being very dark and red. Yeah. In the meantime, though, let's drop out that shadow trace because it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Yep. Or nothing too useful at the moment, at least. This thing has some big reach as well. Is it needed? Um, yeah, don't forget the ring. So you have to inspect it. Yeah. Let's see. Ring that sacrifice. Oh. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that drops all of our defenses. Yeah, that's not. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah. Whose idea was that? Uh, a glass cannon's idea. The Ultimate what ammunition. Was not even a good glass cannon. Like it dropped everything. We expect it to do more, but the amount it. It dropped compared to it rose up and empowered was not worth it. Basically, the bonus was too small for that sacrifice. See, I can't see the hounds. There's the hound and. Uh, four, four, four. Take this. Oh. Okay, I was hoping for one. Yeah, remember to double save. Yeah, at the end of the stream. Oh. Come on, sit still. How have these not burned up? <laughs> Let's see, 1783 has a volcano erupted. The, the days are dark as night and the dark the sky is red as blood. The very picture of hell. How long must this go on? Our crops are ruined and the phenomenon is certain to have an ill effect on people as well. But perhaps this is opportune, a sign from God that the time of the ritual of, for the ritual is nigh. And uh, same year. The skies remain unchanged and as expected my superiors have called upon me to perform the ritual despite my friend's objections. His opinion carries little weight in the face of the guild's near nearly unanimous support. I must away. The ritual will be performed ten days hence, and I will have many preparations ahead of me. Hmm. Okay, so... So something happened before the ritual was even ha uh, performed, and we're at the next boss room. Oh, uh, this is the ups <laughs> falling demon, I'm guessing. Orobas. I am not familiar with that one. Oh. Wait, it's nothing. Dragon dinosaur filled with skulls? About. And I should change you out. Use you. And I, <laughs> I practically jumped into that. You're going to be a nuisance when you're on the ceiling, but you seem more manageable when you're on the ground, which is probably supposed to be the case. Yep. Thank you for switching. Yep. Didn't have to go back there. And yeah, that is pretty much completely harmless, except for the contact damage. <laughs> Every time it jumps, it switches gravity. 
we already know now what it's going to do here. It's just going to keep charging. So then it's going to jump. It's going to launch. And that's new. No, that's not really a new attack, but it is... <laughs> it is one we've seen before on other creatures, but not on that one. Yeah, and it seems to be dropping some kind of blood on the ground. Okay, I'll have to keep an eye out for that then. Yeah, basically, more like we might be able to use it to heal ourselves. Or, well, you can heal yourself. I'm just going to start it. See, get this again for the records. Yeah, All right. Ready. Like, is that a goat skull and horn rams? Or ram horns? It seems like it begins from a dinosaur to bone. In the most of it, but then feed with stars and have some strange head. I can't really see it probably due to minor pixelation. Okay, that doesn't do much. Uh, I'm guessing fire will do not much either. Oh, fire will do plenty. Yeah, most of them do. Yeah, if you're feeling. A boss power up. Oh. Yeah, you just have fun with your laser pointer. I'm just going to stab you in the ass. I think you will realize. I think that this crazy is a reference to Godzilla. See how so? <laughs> ah, what up? He basically shoots a beam like that for his mouth as well. Yeah. You know, like a yeah. Wait, did that not get damaged there? Okay, those attacks still hurt a lot from it. But so does this. <laughs> that seemed a lot rodeo stuff, but <laughs> I think, <laughs> on the exact moment I said, so is this, it died. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess we now have reason to return to all the areas and get some loot. Uh, and wait, weren't we to see if we could prank uh, OD? Uh, yeah. <laughs> We, we, here's the people. After the streams, we've been at least two times talking about pranking OD, uh, the, the vampire librarian. What I see to be hit, you can do that. Okay, were it any other, <laughs> were this not a MOOC, this would have totally been a, a boss. <laughs> uh, that, that totally had the appearance of for a boss. Oh, he wants us to get like a set bar. I think he's just looking for a duke in the fire. Okay, we can even pull that off in midair. Cherry powder and big spites. Oh, oh! <laughs> It remains reversed when we're entering through, or when we enter a new area. Okay. Most games would have just thrown uh, us back on in normal gravity. Throw so spears. <laughs> Does that need any more explanation? I kind of like it, but this it doesn't seem to. Uh... 
And yeah, that might be a bit much for people with motion sickness. Or, well, with worse motion sickness, because I get motion sick in the car when I'm not driving myself for some reason. Yeah. So, the annoying thing is that only ha started happening, or happening frequently, after I got my driving license. I think it happened to me easy, the other two are not uh, in cars or often anymore. Ex extreme... Hey, I'm happy I'm right here or something like that, I'm walking on the car. Huh. So, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And only sometimes with the logger, but not often really. Let's see, would I remain in here? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, th this is basically Castlevania Symphony of the Night's uh, inverted castle, but as a game mechanic, <laughs> instead of a completely new area. And why is it... I'm... Literally seeing nothing spike up here in the task manager. It is the controller? It, those batteries were supposed to be completely full. Oh well, let's see if any of these had a good charge. Yes. One. Two. So, all that time it was just bad batteries. Either bad batteries or... Wait, I've been using the same controller all the time. Yeah. Alright. I was wondering if it was something with the controller. Now I have one other controller, technically, but that one's non-functional anymore. I was thinking oh. about tearing that apart sometimes to take a peek at how the parts work. You can see if we could repair it? Uh, I doubt I would be able to, and I sort of doubt that I want to wait. Has this thing... I think I might know what has been causing these problems. Oh? There, do you work now? I think the receiver of my right controller was loose. Work. That will explain a lot, and it's spiking up to the computer, getting confused. Yep. So I must say, I like that they... <clears throat> I like that they... Well, I don't really like that they slow things down when it starts losing connection. But it... I personally would have preferred it if it was more like a direct... Like it just plain stopped and... Oh, hello. Might okay, I thought there was a wall there. Or Might be break. because the game is confused. Now it's... Hold on. In you go. Okay, okay. something is... The hell is going on that's... Hmm... Okay, I'll just have to check things. Oh, wait, we're... Oh, we're back here. Yeah, I want to say, what the hell is that water link for doing in the lava zone? Then realize this is not the lava zone. Uh, come on, it's now... What the hell is going on now? controller is now being disobedient. Come on. It's either not responding or it's moving things too much. Mm. Maybe... Maybe you need a new controller? 
It isn't that old. Like a year at not even less than a year, perhaps. Uh, I had some controllers about having issues uh, reloading and so for a while, but now they're charging normally again. Let's see, what sort of connection is this? This is the same as my headset, which pr probably be at a decent charge now. So let me just pull that out. Plug that in to here, into the controller. And plug the other end. And is there even... Yes, there is a free spot. No. There. That should... This should stop things from getting interference now, because now the controller is plugged directly into the computer. That should work, but then it's not uh, working as a wireless uh, anymore. Got any targets for me? Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. Okay, we've got these two. Good work. Have you hey, you know what? I, I'm gonna investigate more. I'm gonna investigate what the heck a six turn is. <laughs> okay. However, it means something in Swedish. Uh, what then? Sixteen. <laughs> Remember, you expect something you else, didn't you? Too heavily on the shards. What are you looking to sell? Is this right? Thank you. Let's... What the... Okay! This is on its way to No. A sexton is a officer of a church congregation or synagogue. Charged with the maintenance of its building and all the surrounding graveyards. Is this what In a small place of worship, this office is often combined with that of a virgin. In larger buildings, such a cathedral, a team of sextons may be employed. Okay. The word sexton or sarkistian, both derived from the medieval Latin word sarkistianus. Meaning construing of sacred objects. This person represents the popular government of the world by the open Segrestian bank. This is also referred to in Greek as Neuros. Thank you. Okay, I. I would not have guessed that. Never. Yeah. Do it makes sense, uh, considering we have found a shirt and all that around here. Oh, we can make cheesecake. Uh, but we should first look... Uh, where is that thing? Uh, that thing that Granny wants. And we've gone past it, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. this food oh, make me hungry again. Consome. Can we make that? No, we made nice. black pepper. We have still haven't found any black pepper, so that one is still out of our reach. Unless they got some new ware to sell. Hmm. Instead, but, yeah. let's go with this. buy this one or make this one. I was going to have a dried cheesecake. Pace yourself out there. This dialogue seems to be changing a bit. Yeah, every now and then, he has more lines than the <laughs> characters and other NPCs and other games would have. Uh, yeah, let's... though usually, usually it means a sign that you're either in mid-game or late game. Okay, we have an entire new area, no well, upper area, to explore now. 
that we now can explore with the new ability. Yep. Whip you her. losers have fun on the floor. Get back here, Spider Girl! Yeah. So, why am I still trying to swipe at these things when I can just walk into them to break them? <laughs> You're a bit bloodthirsty overall. Oh, and something I'm only now just realizing a bit. Uh, no, not, not really real. That's yeah, a bit obvious. On the map, we're moving to the left, but on the screen, we're moving to the right because, well, inverted. Invert. <laughs> Probably a bit of an obvious, but uh, yeah, I'm a bit of an idiot at times. <laughs> Yay! Sword hurt big time! Uh, let's see, we might even be able to give Todd a visit. I think we have a new hairstyle or two that we could ch check out with him. Yeah, I was to say mention that. Okay, so this thing's had like oh, around 300 health. I hope we can make more weapons like this, or I think we may need more variety than just the great sword. Yeah. Well, wait. Oh um, uh, yeah, we still can't go this way because yeah, <laughs> ceiling or floor it spikes all the way. So we'll be going here then, which is just across. And I should I should move my Steam notifications to another corner because I, it keeps blocking the. Thing, it keeps blocking things. Uh, it, it keeps blocking creature names when that pops up. Okay. Sharp razor. We've already gotten that before. Okay, it looks like they are getting damaged by the spike armor before they actually get a hit on us. That's good, even though a bit unrealistic. It's the mad monkey again. Yes, but I don't like spiked armor. The, the only thing that I can see the spike armor be useful is to make, encourage something to not swallow you. Further down, or rather up. Let's see, anything. To... Come on, we're blocked off again. But. Okay, there is another area up there. We just need to find out where to actually go. Wait, hold on a second. Anything suspicious? <laughs> okay, I, li I like how. I like how they are still uh, the normal way up. <laughs> oh, there's another room. Oh, wait. Is there a hole we will be unable to reach around here as well? Uh, there's damage there, but it's not a hole. Otherwise, we could have just used the. Uh... Good back. Otherwise, we could have just used this to get through. Invert. Smash. No. Nope. I guess uh, my luck being smart ran out there. Uh, we've already been up here. 
probably weren't really supposed to be able to get there. But yeah, the next area is over here. We know that there is this... That has to be progress. Hello? Yeah. Okay, we haven't been using that familiar, but... Yeah, we can at least sell that one. Also, something, uh, something mechanically useful about uh, the invert spell here. Um, if I were to use it here, I get the feeling I'd fall up into the sky into infinity. I actually, there's a save point. Let's try that. Uh, but yeah, be. be <clears throat> Because this doesn't have to be an entirely different new region or an entirely new copy of the uh, <clears throat> of the castle, it saves on the uh, map data as well. Because in Symphony of the Night, they they copied the entire damn castle and inverted it. But yeah, here it just uses the same map. Yeah, that sounds like a better better use. Also, I. I can't rank the... <laughs> okay, I was not expecting that. <laughs> oh, and she attacked us the bell while you were inside it. Yeah. Can you still hear me? Yep. <laughs> okay, we... I... Tick expertise <laughs> increases damage from shoes, and of course we get that from a horse. Okay, oh. small change of... Small change of... Plan, get I here, you. I hope you... the other horse variants will allow you to ride them and charge into combat. Uh, I'm guessing there will probably be at least one creature like that. Can better be, otherwise, I'd be sad. A sad Swede. <laughs> okay, now let's see if they actually thought of this. Uh, okay, they <laughs> they <laughs> they sort of thought of that. I I was kind of hoping for a unique death screen or, screen or something there. Uh, yeah, but there is, that was a small fix to it. Invert. Yeah, instead of just putting up a, a random roof. Sit still. Ooh, apple! I think we don't think we've had found apples before. Uh, no surprise in the second bell. And here is finally that freaking gate. And now we can go up there and get another chest. A new chest. Yeah. Come on. And it... That's a... Just 2,000 golds. That's a bit disappointing for its one that's been hanging in there all the time. But at least we get... Carpenter's key. I we don't been, remember we we've it. I think we've been needing it somewhere. Hmm, I remember the millionaire's key and the horseman's key. But not the carpenter's key. Have we still even found the millionaire key? Nope. Hopefully hmm. this one will help us find the millionaire key. Okay, but we're still being cock blocked with this new area over here. Yeah, and oh, let's remember. Have we finished exploring the boat? There's still there this area here. Actually, uh, is what, is, what is uh, an invert spell if not a. Wait, 
did we did we fall past the chest that was unopened there? I think we did. Oh no, it was open. Uh, oh, yeah. What is an invert gravity spell if not a very very long jump? What? I see in a second here. Yes, you're right. Uh, why did that break me? Ugh, ugh. Uh, Fire. Before I forget. Can you? Harry. Uh, quickly. Oh, we already have that equipped. I saw what you did there. Hmm. You intentionally put your arrow over the pizza. No. <laughs> you know I get about pizza, you know that. Okay, let's and see I... if I can pull off this little trick. Invert. Invert. And now we're finally in here. Oh. Ow. That's all. Didn't we have that at the very beginning? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but it, it, I think there's another room that we have explored here. Oh, that looks very nice. Oh, adorable. Okay, let's take a look at the map. Here, this... Nope, that's everything here. Oh. Oh, right. hmm. Okay, I I get I'm of two minds now with that. For either that was a joke by the game, like they have that hanging in front of you, like. The entire freaking game, like what's in that one room? What's in that wrong one room? Or, uh, or we were actually been... supposed to be able to get in there, like the, the second stream or something. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Hmm. And the question does what? become again: Where do we continue? Well, just we can invert to the moon. <clears throat> the Ducktales moon theme starts playing. All right, I have to look it up. Oh wait, this copyright ain't it? Uh, yeah. Or hmm. what did they be copyrighted over? Oh wait, they did make a remake for the. Never mind. Then yeah, it should probably be a copyright by now. Yep. <clears throat> Let's see. S still seven minutes left. So I can see one door that we haven't been able to open. So let's take a look if I'm perhaps misremembering what key it was that was needed for that. I think I remember a door near a competent key. That was where? Unless it was in the tower? Huh. Uh, you, sir, have become uh, useless. <laughs> Was it this? No, War Horse's key. We still don't have the War Horse. Hmm. Let's see, this is scan through. And I think I saw something actually. Wait, there's a chest that we not that is marked, but they have a land area that we not found yet. Yeah. And there's, there's two a bit of curious, open here. There's two curious squares that are higher up, and there's that as well. Mm. 
Which? No, no, no. Oh, a bit, a bit higher up than to east. Hmm? There. In the, in the yeah. towers here. Yeah. Hmm. Those I... look like it could hide something within words. Okay, we might we might as well take a look. Yeah, might, might as well be furrow. Could be something that we need to break a wall even to find. So yeah. Go the... yeah, the the game has many ways to hide things. Let's see. Whilst we're here, let's go fit vis Let's go give Todd a visit again. All right. Then. Should we also visit the? Wait. What if the vampire has one of the keys? Yeah, we'll have to see in a bit. <gasps> Fascinating. People do their hair like this. <laughs> Come on, level up. Okay, let's see. We've seen that one. I haven't actually put that one on, I think. This one seems new. Original... And yeah, this is this is totally supposed to be Shinoa's hair, I think. Wait. Was it this one or the other pigtails that we'd seen? Oh yeah, we haven't seen this one, I think, so let's go to that. Set this back to default. Um, let's mess with this a bit. Of course, that isn't going to matter much if it's just going to stay black. Okay, change the trim style a bit. And let's see, from purple... Mm. And this sort of works, I think. Yeah, kinda. Sometimes purple and green works well, but there are few moments where purple and green looks horrible. Probably depends on on what you put it on. Yeah, and then again, colors and such is still a lot of uh, objective preference. Yeah. yeah okay. I Let's head over to the towers. Most towers that we like purple and green is like something is green colored but have purple stripes. Kind of works for me, like uh, if like if you're on an animal or such. But sometimes on some clothes that purple and green can look horrible depending how you put it around. Yeah, and, and those tend to be the colors of the Joker. Wait, what? Yeah. Hmm. I only remember purple on him. Where the heck is the green? Oh wait, it's hair. Yeah. Uh, let's see. How could I forget that? Fight our way through here till we're outside. Uh, outside without getting our feet impaled. Just double checking. Strawberry. Uh, why do I keep attacking whilst I could just walk into those? Just force of habit. Okay. Yeah. Here they have a new room. What? Okay. What is this? Valkyrie dress. 
Okay, that's a decent... That's a decent... Oh, that's a lot more luck. And look at the defense. Oh, wait. Great. Wait, what? That actually changed the colors? <laughs> I... I, th I, th I think that's the first. And it actually looks good. <laughs> Okay, that was unexpected. <laughs> they actually did it. Me pro that way. There's something more in this area. Yeah. Uh, I need to head. <laughs> need to keep in mind that uh, when I flip things, I need to keep going in the other way. Where is the opening going to be? The fairy isn't responding to anything. Yet. And if there was an opening now, it would lead back into the previous layer. Uh, wait, wait. We are all going the wrong way, I think. But the unknown area is in the other direction. And we're going... And it, it, it circles around, remember? Yeah, but the, the direction we want to go to, we're going further and further away from, until now. Uh, yeah, there'd have to be a gap in here somewhere. There's the barrier that was kept uh, us away from there. Let's see. There should be a break somewhere around here. Yeah, there it is. Hmm. Is this? No. No response from the fairy either. And there is a chest over there. But how would we actually get to that? Okay, I'm drawing a blank on how we would get to that. And we might as well just make this easier by falling upwards. Yeah, well at least we can go a bit to the vampire now. And see how we... Well, we should probably borrow some books from him first. Yeah. Before we... Prank him. Ah, hello. Or invisible blade. What? That is going to be. Wait, where did we pick up this pistol? Oh yeah, we did that further, further back. Uh, one of the mobs dropped it. Okay, I missed that then. Uh, I forgot to comment on it. Or rather, I was to comment on it, but then uh, something else came up. Wait... I can think of one other way to get into that place. Oh? Nope, no breakable floor. And the fairy isn't responding to anything else, so there's just nothing breakable there. Then maybe there is something in the last two spaces here. Hmm. Getting quite a bit of damage, but it, it's more the, it was mostly from the getting stuck in the gears. Carnot's rebuke. Or rebuke. Raid source of an internal steam engine adds incredible power to each swing. Okay. Hmm. A bit sad, but it, it does sound like an epic sword. Okay. 
Okay, let's check around here and that filled in the last two spaces here. So it looks like the tower is another dead end for now. So vampire time! Oh, hello. Hmm? Uh, yeah, let's go mess with OD if possible. <laughs> I just have to remember, remember where the library is. That's where Todd is. Is it here? The Livra et Machina. Uh, yep. Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's first have a chat. I've come by some new reading material. Okay, that didn't. We haven't gone up in that. Greatly increases luck. Hastens proficiency growth. A proficiency has been something with the uh, special techniques. Uh, there's the bar at the side that shows it has been. F yeah, that would probably fill up with every use, probably making it either stronger or cheaper to use. Experience. Oh, increased movement speeds. Resistances. Hmm. Let's trade in that one. How much? Okay, yeah, we're taking that. That is a hell of a lot of luck. But it's, it is called Godsend Tome, so. Yeah. That will increase the chance of something dropping by a lot. Be certain to return what you borrow. This is a library, not a bookshop. Alright. Now let's see how it can work. Oh, come on. Nope. Wait. No, you just straight pass through him. Wait, hold on. Why is that a thing? Yeah, no idea then. Unless there's another trick we're supposed to do there? Maybe, but we'll have to figure that out next time. And where the heck we're supposed to go. Oh. So, for now, screenshots. <laughs> and I finally changed it so that screenshots show up, and the screenshot manager shows up after I end the game. So uh, I do not forget to upload those screenshots. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, hopefully the audio mixing in this went a bit better. I see that m my own audio has spiked into the red at times, so I might have to lower my own voice sometime. But I'll have to just check the video after this. I also need to remember to upload the Something Sunday stream, because I forgot that. Uh, yeah, but for now, let's take a look if anyone is watching. Let's see... It's a bit. Okay, uh, no need. To, I can't think of a pun with that. Uh, thank you for watching, and the rest seem to be only bots. So, yeah, again, if anyone in there isn't a bot, uh, speak up sometime, or I, I am just going to keep ignoring you. So, um, yeah, thank you, and, and of course, special thanks to you, Yudrik here. Oh, you're most welcome. 
And yeah, next time, more bloodstained, more <laughs> wandering around aimlessly, I'm guessing. And hopefully, <clears throat> hopefully we won't be spending two hours just trying to find wherever the hell we're supposed to go. But as always, until then, until then. Be safe, folks. <laughs>